Trigger finger is a very common problem that a hand uh, surgeon or provider will see. Um, it often results in symptoms of pain at the palm side of the hand at the base of the finger, and it may have associated mechanical symptoms such as clicking or locking. The finger as the patient bends may get stuck, and over time it gets tighter and tighter where they may need to use the other hand to pry and open up the finger itself. The reason we think this happens is that over time there becomes a slight either enlargement in the tendon itself or a slight narrowing of the sheath and pulley system that the tendon runs in such that there's a size mis mismatch and the tendon no longer really fits very well. And so there's an increased friction and difficulty pulling that tendon through a tight space. The causes of a trigger finger are actually relatively unknown. Uh, it is another condition similar to carpal tunnel and is mostly therefore felt to be a uh, anatomy issue where for many, many millions of cycles of bending and straightening somebody's finger over their lifetime, everything works perfectly and smoothly without pain or motion loss. And that sometime in somebody's life, there becomes a slight change in that anatomy where things are not working perfectly well. The diagnosis of a trigger finger is often made uh, just simply by the patient's uh, uh, description of their symptoms and a detailed physical exam in the office. It is typically a very localized uh, pain at the base of the finger on the palm side, and there may be some mechanical events such as locking that can be seen and felt by both the patient and the examiner. It is very rare that any further testing is necessary to make the diagnosis of a trigger finger, but occasionally it can present um, such that some blood work or imaging studies uh, may be ordered in order to rule out other conditions that are associated with a trigger finger. The most uh, common treatments that we would recommend initially for a trigger finger uh, include some gentle massage, to try to um, make the area that is uncomfortable desensitized a little bit, see if that friction and deep tissue manipulation can result in improved tending gliding. When the exercises and activity modifications are unsuccessful, we may advise consideration of a steroid injection. That tends to be much more effective than any oral steroids. For a trigger finger that has failed to respond to conservative care with activity modification, injections with a steroid, or therapy to restore motion and tendon gliding, um, you can consider surgical release. The surgery takes the first pulley um, and opens that up to increase the space available for the tendon as it enters into a sheath that lives within the finger. And by opening up that first pulley, it makes more room, reduces friction, and eliminates the pain and locking event in most cases. The recovery from trigger finger surgery is actually relatively quick. We ask that the patient protects the wound for the first two weeks after surgery. After the sutures are out at two weeks, the patient can relatively quickly resume their full normal activities. Most patients by three or four weeks from surgery have gotten back to their work and recreational uh, activities that they enjoy. It is very difficult to try to prevent the development of a new trigger finger if someone has had those symptoms in the past. So although it is not possible to necessarily prevent the symptom development, it is possible to choose when you may want to seek medical attention. And so the earlier that somebody presents to the hand team, the sooner we can initiate treatment and the better our results will be with non-operative care.